It's day two of the first ever World Series of Poker Short Deck event. For those who aren't familiar, Short Deck No Limit Hold'em sees the deuces through fives removed from the deck. And as a result, the hand rankings change somewhat, with a flush beating a full house. On a break, Card Player TV caught up with poker's all-time money leader, Justin Bonomo, to learn what he thinks about the game and its introduction at this year's WSOP. I think it's a great game. It's always a fun, it's always fun just to have a change of pace, like people are playing for the first time, which is always great. I, I think they made a mistake by having it a 10K the first time. Like if it was a 1500, lots of people would be willing to splash around, get a feel for it. And then people who like the game, then they could decide to play the 10K. So I hope next year they learn from that mistake and start with a smaller buy-in next year. We also asked Bonmo if he thinks that maybe the WSOP should have catered to the high roller crowd by kicking this new event off at a higher buy-in. Well, I mean, they could do several. They could start with a low buy-in and then build their way up. And um, I, like, I don't think they could do 100K right away. Like, obviously, Triton and other series have success with that, but they've they've built that over years. Uh, so I think the World Series kind of needs to build that with their par player base. Finally, we asked Bonmo if the game is more high variance than standard element hold'em, with all inequities running closer than they do in that format. Definitely, but I think that's why the game has appeal. Uh, like, the game originally caught on because people didn't like the fact that, you know, no limit hold'em, you have to play so tight, and you have all these experts who've been playing for 15 years. This was a new game that nobody knew what they were doing, and yeah, just like PLO, you know, even if you get it in with a bad hand, you still got 40% or whatever, so anyone could, you know, get lucky and win a tournament or a cash game session. To find out who wins the first ever WSOP short deck event, make sure to keep your browser locked on cardplayer.com.